what is up? So it's me again. It's me again. It's me again. Have you missed me? Haters will say that they didn't miss me, but I know some of y'all missed me. Okay. So I think I'm actually just going to. That didn't work out. <laughs> So guys, I haven't made a video in a while and that is because I've been busy with life and with school. So, um, recently I got into kayaking. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is not good right now. Hold on. Oh my god. Wait. Wait. <laughs> this is good. The trees, the trees will help us. Put your arms in it! Put your arms in it! Oh my god. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, I'm gonna pee. What's that Pocahontas song? What's around the riverbank? Waiting just around the riverbank! <laughs> Yo, fuck this kayak! That was fun. <laughs> So if you guys noticed, I didn't make a video related to like exactly when I hit the two month mark um, since my surgery and that was because no difference between like that one month to the second month transition. Everything was pretty much the same. I felt the same about my water intake, about working out, everything was pretty much the same. But now it's almost going to be like three months in a couple of weeks because it would be it's gonna be exactly three months april 27th so i mean we're pretty close to that it's two weeks away so i just thought i'd make the video right now so i have a couple of notes here that i just took down just so i know what i'm gonna be talking about so if i'm looking down it's at this so i think first things first i'm just gonna start off with stats because that's pretty much you know the most important thing at least to me it is my starting weight was 270 pounds that was my highest weight ever recorded for me my current weight drum roll please my current weight is 200 pounds so three months post-op surgery i have had a total weight loss of 70 pounds pat myself on the back for that so thank god everything has been going really good referring back to my one month post-op video when i was talking about having trouble like chugging cold water and how i missed that well you guys i can chug my cold water all i want because that is not a difficulty anymore and i never thought that i would miss something so simple in our everyday routines but honestly it's so true like you don't know what you had until it's gone but i got it back i can finally chug my cold ice water and that is so refreshing and i can do that without feeling super full well i still kind of feel full if i chug like the whole water bottle which i haven't yet to do but you know we'll get there we'll get there so when it comes to food i can pretty much eat anything except the only food that really like that if I take like two bites of it and it just doesn't sit well at all and I have to puke it out is burgers like any type of burger any type of like sandwich like I just can't like I don't know if it's like because it's thick I don't like I really don't know I just like sand like just biting into a sandwich or a burger or anything like that it just doesn't sit well in my stomach whether it be I don't know the greasiest burger which I haven't had or like the most healthiest I don't know turkey panini it just doesn't sit well so since I'm basically three months out of surgery I can pretty much eat anything if I wanted to so if I wanted to go back to my bad eating habits I pretty much could but I choose not to because this is why I took this step into having this you know lifestyle change of having this surgery why would i want to go back into eating the unhealthy foods even though mentally i'm like oh don't worry i'm gonna go eat i don't know i'm gonna go eat at taco bell and i'll have a taco and i'll only eat like one taco and it'll be fine 
but no, I, I don't do that. So when it comes to food, I really, you know, restrict myself a lot and sometimes it's a little bit too much. I even had this scary encounter once when I thought I wasn't losing weight fast enough and I was like working out and just, I was stalling. So I thought that I was stalling for like a really long period of time and I wanted the scale to move. So I basically starved myself more than I already starve myself you know because now with this surgery I basically like don't eat as much so if I don't if I already don't eat as much and I restrict myself even more I'm basically sorry myself so I had a scary encounter when once I did that and I ended up fainting because I'm an idiot I'll, I'll admit that I'm a fucking idiot don't ever do that I don't recommend that that was the scariest shit of life I fainted in the shower which is basically like the worst place to faint because you can hit yourself on the faucet on the shower head like anything on the on the side of the tub you can I could have died like literally I'm not even exaggerating but thankfully I was fine I only bruised both my knees yeah I bruised both my knees I don't know that, that was like the scariest thing of life so don't starve yourself guys like either way you're gonna lose weight and this is also like something that I'm telling myself right now Izzy girl you're gonna lose weight just relax it takes us time okay so working out is a really big thing now in my life i try to work out at least four times a week because of school but i try to work out four times a week and i do i used to start doing cardio but i'm just doing you know weights now i'm trying to get my strength up i basically just focus on weights when i go to the gym so i just get to tone up because when it comes to skin hanging my arms are my worst enemy when it comes to that so I am going to be looking at some before and after pictures with you guys I just thought that would be really interesting um, I love just doing collages it's like my favorite thing ever because when I look at myself in the mirror I still see the girl that I used to be like I don't physically see myself like becoming thinner but other people definitely have told me, oh my god, your waist is so much thinner and your face is slimmer. But when I look at myself in the mirror, I just don't see it. So I do these collages so just so I can like remind myself that I am indeed changing both in and out. Holy shit, guys. Like, I never would have thought that my thighs would have lost weight. But when I did this comparison, I was like, holy shit. If you can tell like in the bottom on the tiles, I'm standing exactly in the same like position But then I didn't have no like thigh gap Obviously when I'm walking now like normally I don't have a thigh gap neither which is fine with me like I'll get it eventually But like standing right there. I was just like I was shook you guys. I was definitely shook So this is um, basically one month post-op and then three months you know two months of later which is now three months post up um, at a glance you can't really see that much of a difference but there definitely is a little bit of a difference especially like maybe probably like in a couple of inches from the stomach area and my butt now at 200 pounds is a little bit smaller which I am totally fine with that because my butt was like extremely big it was like a little bit too much and then this is a picture from the beginning to now which holy shit guys like when i look back at that picture i just remember being like so like in denial with myself i used to like tell myself i you know whatever like i'm fat but i love myself for who i am but i mean I wouldn't change nothing in the world about now like I don't regret my decision at all about having that surgery because honestly I know that if I wouldn't have chosen to have that surgery it would have taken a lot out of me to lose all that weight that I had gained so now that we're talking about regrets and that surgery I am going to be talking about something especially when it comes to us ladies our hair so I do have you know a lot of hair and it is long I just love my long hair but one thing that really just like hit me like that was the hair loss that I'm having I am losing so much fucking hair and it's disgusting because I love to wear black pants and with my blonde ass hair on my black ass pants you can like see a whole bunch of like strands of hair like all over my ass and all over my legs 
and it's honestly so embarrassing to me so here I have a clip that I took off of snapchat and this is after I washed my hair so when I take a shower when I wash my hair it is when the most amount of hair falls out and it's just disgusting so let's watch this video see how much hair that is and then I'm just like I'm just gonna grab all this hair in my hand look how much hair that is and you know the sad thing about that is that it happens it doesn't happen as much as that but I do get a handful of hair every time I brush my head and I don't know it's just it's like a pain but once again I wouldn't regret not having the surgery over losing my hair obviously I'm not gonna go bald so I am gonna stand up right now and just show you a body overview okay so I am wearing a white shirt but this is just how I look right now Three sixty angle, and then this is when I lift my shirt. Let me just put it under my bro. I still have this chunk of back fat, which is so fucking annoying. But at least I don't have like how I used to have it before. So my incisions have thankfully all healed up perfectly fine. Sometimes they're still a little bit like swollen and they itch a little bit, but that's fine with me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's some definition in the stomach area. So now I'm gonna talk about fucking loose skin that I fucking hate. So this is gonna take a lot out of me to actually show you guys because it's the most embarrassing area of my body right now. It's the loose skin on my arms. Okay, are you ready? <gasps> ah! Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Whatever. <sighs> okay. Look, this is a lot of skin. This comes with, of course, like what my body is gonna go through and it's gonna go through all these changes but I just really that's what I was telling you about that's why I'm hitting more weights at the gym and stuff like that how attractive are you how attractive <laughs> should this be the thumbnail fuck no so guys I think this is pretty much it I don't have anything else to say other than thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you guys in my next one